joined by Hofstra head coach Emily Mansour following her team's four set loss to Binghamton. Uh, coach, your thoughts on tonight's match? It's a tough loss. <laughs> Anytime you lose, not good, but every set so close, and we just gotta find a way to get there. It's then. Uh, coach, uh, no excuses, but your team's obviously decimated by two major injuries right now. And Clara Ball just kind of helped you in every facet tonight. What, what can you say about her match tonight and kind of, you know, the, the extra part she's doing, which is the setting as well? Yeah, now we are very thankful for Clara for stepping in and setting. She didn't get much practice time on that because she's such a big part of our offense. We need to manage her and she really stepped in and did such a nice job when she was setting, which is a completely new position for her. She has never done it and she stepped up in every way. Uh, what do you think your team can learn from a match like tonight where you're, you're kind of a little depleted on the roster, but you're still battling and fighting these, like you said, these close sets? We all have to step up a little bit more. We as coaches got to find one or two more points. The players on the court who are experienced and uh, the starters have to find one more point into one of them, and that changes the match. So I think we all have, because we are missing a couple of players, we all just have to elevate ourselves a little bit better to make up for that. I think we found ways to score when maybe the ball wasn't there, uh, and that has been a big thing for us. I think we served better today. Uh, so there was a couple of things that we did better than last week, but as you said, we did come up yeah. short. Uh, coach, that third set, so you guys in control for a lot of it, and Binghamton just kind of roared back and the team didn't really have an answer. How, what do you think happened there? What do you think the people went from? I think this we have seen a couple of times this year. Uh, we cannot have a mental break, and we are still giving ourselves a chance to get a mental break in the game and then another team turns it on and it's hard because once you feel you have the momentum going so I think we just got to really find a way to stay engaged for those 25 points and not stop at 20 because 20 doesn't win anything as we see we've been 20 21 22 that doesn't get us where we have to be yet uh, coach I noticed you uh, talking to Clara Ball after that second set was there something you told her that you know kind of awoken something in her you know to with her in the you know picking up this new role and everything really just had such a well-rounded game. Is there something that, that you told her or noticed in her game after that? I mean, Clara loves to be in control, and being a setter, it's so fun because you are in control of the court. So I think as she learns this a little bit more, she can have a lot of fun on that. And then she takes the responsibility as an attacker too, because if you are setting, you know how tough it is to give a set and not get the point. So you kind of get a better feeling of both sides that you have to be good at. First home match, obviously you don't want to have the first home match as a, as a loss, but um, how is it for this team to have this crowd here? Uh, it keeps them up, especially when, you know, you said you get some of those mental breaks, being able to turn things around, stay in the game. And also you mentioned how you wanted the, the early games to be a bit tougher to ready you guys for the CAA. How important do you think, you know, have, knowing the team has the crowd behind them, uh, it's going to be good, confident going into the last It's huge. Like, we love it. We are so thankful that the people come, they watch, they enjoy the addition of Rio Chain as picking up the crowd. And we're going to feel this because we're going to start doing better and people are going to want to come see us. But we are very thankful for the people that were here. And then just one more thing. Um, Ayanna Garvin, she didn't have a kill in the first set, but it seemed that as the game got on, the more she got involved, the more good things happened. Good. How is that? Who do you see her, from her coming, uh, coming next? Uh, you know, to build off the game. We need her. The first two matches that we won uh, early in the season, that we had everybody, our medals were a big part of the success. And I think we just need to give our new setters a little bit of time to adjust to having to set the medals. And I think, again, that's why we are coming short a little bit. It's those things that we got to fine tune until we get to the CAA next week. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.